And we're back with another episode of Let's Play Sh uh, Final Fantasy VI. I'm your host, Nick Lugato. So, the hole to the right there leads to an X-Potion, and we got that. The hole up north leads to a, a chocobo suit and a, suit and a tabby suit, which is known as the cat suit, which we equipped on uh, Strago. So let's go down this last hole that we haven't gone down yet. <laughs> which leads here! I actually put the sprint shoes on Realm. I was tired of walking so slow for so long. And we're walking, and oops, well now we're walking outside. We're, okay, there we go. Let's keep going here. What's this? It's a fairy. Isn't it the first time, I think? Ooh. <laughs> She's like, no touching. That looks like a lone, that looks like, um, the lone wolf from earlier. And dragons and evil creatures and oh my access denied <laughs> Oh, you're about to die a painful death now. It's funny how um, Terra and Strago start casting and, and Locke is prepared to fight. It's kind of like they figured that's how it would be. Who's this? Isn't he the, old, the gatekeeper in training? Uh-oh. Hit the deck! The sound of the ice spell. That's what that sound means. No, no, not quite. His name is Yura. Yes. Interesting. Well, you know, anger, rage, and being extremely pissed off can also cause you to lose control of yourself, you know? <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, and the Empire has caused you tons of pain, too. That sounds fishy to me. You know, General Leo is probably the only, sh and maybe General Celis, to what we might know, are the only straight shooters of the group. Yep, the day is saved. This is how the game ends, by the way. This is all that's left. Kefka rots in jail. Gastal realizes his failure. Peace talks begin. Yep, time to put all of this behind us. Yep. Let's return to Vector. Get married. Have children. Teach the children how to steal from us, you know. <laughs> and that of course bursts out in the laughter. <laughs> There they go. Yay, everybody's happy. Including him. What is this noise? How did he get out? Maybe, you know, maybe he got raped in prison and they put him in the uh, special care unit and that's how he got out. Knowing him, he, it wouldn't surprise me for him to do... Well, what is this? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. No! And these aren't just your standard Magitek armors, either. These are the Guardian ones, the strongest ones in the game. They cannot be killed until a specific point. Which means they have immortal health. What is this? He's killing everybody! I told you guys not to trust him. Look, at even Leo didn't know this is what it was going to be. And 
much. This is not boding well for our team, is it? This is bad. Yes, Kefka, you bastard. My vengeance will be swift and merciless. See, this is what a real bad guy should be like. S Sephiroth is just not this evil. He's confused and upset and, and has wants to destroy the world, but, you know, what fantasy RPG bad guy doesn't do that? <laughs> oh, wow, he's standing on top of him laughing. <laughs> oh, man. But look at this. Oh, my God, I get to control General Leo! And I was right, he is a black man. Like I said, he's the first and only black man to be in a Final fa Fantasy game as far until Final Fantasy VII, of course. You cannot see what he's equipped with, but he's actually equipped with some really good stuff from what I've been told. Uh, crystal armor, he's got the offering relic. He is probably the strongest uh, character in all of Final Fantasy history, in my opinion. <laughs> the thing is, you don't get to name him, obviously, so there's something wrong. Obviously, trying to leave is impossible. But we get to be General Leo, so this is what the Offering Relic does. You'll get to check this out in a second. He's also equipped with the a Aegis Shield, which actually gives him a chance of blocking magic attacks. It looks like he's blocking it, too. It's not just blocking, he's blocking it. <laughs> I think he'll do it here. No, he's actually taking hits, though. Shock is his strong power. Now, if you own a Game Genie or are playing on an emulator and you know the Game Genie code for this, you can actually get Leo in your party permanently. But I don't think he ever levels. I don't think he ever gets stronger. So eventually he just becomes kind of useless. So there's, again, no reason to do it. There's even a glitch or a bug in the game that allows you to do something else as well. Oh, yeah. What is this? What's going on? Where are you, Kefka? Show yourself! So I can take your ass out, bitch! And obviously, this is interesting. This is not really Gestal, by the way. Some people actually think he really showed up. See, that was Kefka in disguise. Not Kefka, not Kafka. Kefka. Oh, it could be Kafka, I guess. There is a famous literary character known as Kafka, but whatever. This is gonna be, uh... Ooh. Yeah, that, that's pretty harsh, ain't it? By the power of hate, you know, he just killed him violently and he found it hilarious what's going on now oh no wave after wave of pure magical energy uh oh looks like he apparently pissed someone off this time <laughs> oh no oh no And of course, this starts happening. It's the wall of poo. It's poo, I swear. Boom shakalaka. And it looks like the espers are uh, rebelling. They're pissed. I'd be pissed too if some guy named Kefka killed off all of my friends. Turning him into a magicite. magicite. And this time they're not just berserk, they're fucking pissed. And they still don't know where they're flying to. Right, right off the bat. <laughs> now they do. Ooh. Shit's going down now. And here we go. 
This has always been interesting. He's neutralizing their powers, so in a sense he's disabling all magic within the area, so that way they can't apparently use magical powers to attack. And now he's using his magic, in a sense, to retrieve them. And you could tell he neutralized magic because the guardians, the Magitek armor guardians, are gone. They're they're gone. You would assume they were dismantled or possibly destroyed from just him neutralizing it. I don't know exactly. It's your way of figuring. You gotta figure that out on your own. <laughs> uh oh, looks like we've got some espers here with uh, some words to pick. But this is what the Aegis blocking looks like. So when you do find an Aegis shield for the first time in the game, you notice he'll block almost everything attack thrown at him. Come and help me build the magical empire of Kefka! <laughs> and as you can see, he's just turning everything into magicite here. Nothing can seem to stop him yet. He's just going berserk. Not much for me to really say, so enjoy this whole cinema. I'm gonna drink me some water. his goal now. He wants to go through the seal gate. And a lot of people say, well, why did he finally get there now? Well, obviously he took a boat. Setzer has the only uh, airship. And there it is. General Leo's tomb. <sighs> it's strange, isn't it, in a way? That guy was awesome. He made Barrett, Barrett, he made Barrett look like crap. Oh well. And there's Interceptor as well. I think in the anthology, um... I think in anthology, Kefka mentions he s killed Shadow as well. Or he st stabbed Shadow in the back. Um, as well. He also, you know, so... Again, and one of those things where there's some, there's some plot holes that make you wonder. You know, that, that are just left out because... Ted, Mr. Ted Woolsey uh, decided not to put it in there, or to change the translation because it was he felt it would be better censored. This is what happens when you pick a translator with morals. You don't need a guy with morals. You need a real person. And yes, the Emperor is a liar. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A perfect pervert. Yeah, Cyan actually had a, had a, you know, had an admiration for him, or he had a thing, you know, maybe big, bulky black eyes and armor just kind of turn him on. I don't know. I swear, if they ever made a movie out of this and they had a white man play Leo, I'd be pissed because he is the first colored man in a Final Fantasy game, which was a big deal when I first saw it. I was like, wow. Because I, when as a kid, I even played the Japanese ones. You know, I played the Japanese Final Fantasies before they came out in the U.S. And, and I struggled learning kanji so I could uh, learn how to read it and play them. So it's interesting to see, you know, that he was finally put in there. Uh, she's gonna draw Sab and Sabine's portrait. Oh, <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? This is a censorship scene here as well. Edgar says to himself here, you've grown up entirely too fast. And that's not what he said in the original one. He said, I can't believe she's... Don't do it, she's barely ten. It's criminal because she's ten. Or he says something really perverted and wrong. What it was, I don't remember. So anyway, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI, um, Rage and... We're going to look get some new Rages. We're going to get some new Lords. And then we're going to head and fight and do some more stuff. We'll figure it out when we get there. See you then.